If you ever wonder what it's like being a mom and running a business, that's what today's video is going to be about. I'm just going to show you today. We are headed to our investment property and I want to take y'all along. Welcome to the channel. My name is Diana. Today I'm going to take you on a day as a mom and an entrepreneur. If you are new here, my husband and I run a real estate business. That's how we pay our bills. And we have two babies, a two and a half year old and an eight month old. And this week we are finishing up our investment property. We are going to put it on the market next Saturday. So we're doing all the finishing touches. Normally we do not take the babies with us, but Kwame needs my help. So, uh oh. I'm just cleaning up some grapes. I'm gonna take them with us as a snack and I'm also gonna bring some lunch. My pot's overboiling. Okay, I'm also gonna bring some lunch so that our two year old starts acting up. She got something to eat. And we're probably gonna be hungry too. So, so far today I've already done my two year old's hair. I've dressed everybody, unloaded the dishwasher and now I'm just getting all of this together so that we can go ahead and go. Kwame, what's the plans today? Install flowers, paint the door. Install flowers? You mean plant flowers? Plant flowers, uh -huh. paint the door. And what color are we painting the door? Light blue. Light blue? You know, I want it navy blue. We pick light blue. What do y'all think? Do you think a house that's light blue will sell for more or a house that has a dark blue front door will sell for more? But the Black and white with a pop of color. A pop of light blue. That's beautiful. Kwame has definitely been doing all of the work. So I've been managing the house by myself. Doing all of the work at the home Doing front. all of the work here. Kwame's doing all of the work there. Uh, teamwork makes a dream work, y'all. It's all in one on one. You want it? Doug stuff for the comps because I don't feel like I'm solid comps. I can offer them both. Come on, everybody. Let's go. I get my purse. I gotta set the alarm. I'm coming, honey. I'm coming. Um, I need my shoes. We don't get out of the house much, y'all. If you have a two and a half year old and a baby, you know the struggle. Like getting out of the house is just not the wave. And it's hot. Yeah, we be in the house. Shoes. Oh. Sorry, mama. I need gas. I need gas. I got no choice. I got to be here all day. So we just made this treacherous journey to this property. And it's only treacherous because if you have a two and a half year old, you know how that goes. Eight month old. And an eight month old. Babies don't want to leave the house. So it was very treacherous to get here. We got here and... We still can get stuff out. Because everything we're doing is outside, right? We got a whole bunch of flowers in the car, and we got paint to paint the doors. Like, that's can't happen. Everything inside, you ain't doing shit inside. And he went back home so he can get my wrap and didn't bring my wrap, and the baby fell asleep. So, I don't know how I'm going to do anything. I, like I told you, I'll carry the baby while you make content. Here's what the front of the house is looking like. It has a lot of construction materials around. But we have our flowers that we're about to plant up here real fast, so let's do that. Actually move to the side of the house. We're going to put some of these here. This 
is the kitchen. The laundry. No, it's the Not that way. Hi. Front door. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Hi. <laughs> This way. Another bedroom and a bathroom. This way. Wow. I'm sweating. Not gonna happen today. So we also were just hit with some unexpected plumbing issues. So that's another cost. And like I said, we are sorry, the baby's right here. We are almost at closing. So or not closing. We're almost at open house day. Getting hit with this cost is not fun. Kwame is back there. He is handling it and it's just it's some of the not fun perks of flipping houses. to my last flower bed I had to do three flower beds and then um, I'll be done the girls are in the car with Kwame they're watching some TV show in the AC while I'm out here sweating I should have brought gloves look at this look at my nails let's get this done then I'll show you all of them together <laughs> carport I obviously have to clean up <laughs> this is another one by this side I wanted to fill this one up kind of like the front because you're gonna see it as soon as you pull in so that one's pretty full this dumpster that will be gone in just a couple of days Woo. still has construction stuff everywhere but that's planted this is ready for a second coat but it looks really good. This is a shed. It's on the property. So we can't do anything inside it because we ran out of money. We can't fix it up. That's what it looks like. It has electric. It has fans. This is... If we could have finished this, I definitely would have finished this because look at all this extra space in here it's amazing this is the selling point of the house for sure 
All kiddos in the car. So I didn't get a chance to end the vlog earlier, but it is much later now. I put my toddler down for the night. I hope you enjoyed coming along the day with us and seeing how we operate being, how I operate being a mom and an entrepreneur, a real estate investor. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Also, I have a bunch of older videos when my two-year-old was like a baby baby and we were taking her into our very first flip, so. If y'all want to see that, I'll link that somewhere on the video. But anyway, thank y'all so much for being here. I'll see you in our next video. Peace.